Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, Aquarius. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, um... You may be getting a lot of different downloads from spirit right now. Maybe through your dreams. Your dreams are important right now. Somebody's also trying to speak to you. You know, in your dreams or astral pro projection or astral travel. You could have some dreams about water or something being in water. It could be about a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't know. Um, it's like somebody wants to offer you something. But they're still guarded. They don't know if you're still guarded. They don't know if you still love them. If, you, if there's still opportunity. There's somebody here who wants to offer you something, but there's nothing in, in their cup. It's like they want to just, um, <clears throat> ooh, now I'm choking up. They want to just, again, just like offer you like falsehood, just to say anything to you to get you to go along with it. It's like somebody wants to be romantic with you, romance, but that might be all they have to offer. Like if they can just get you back, then, you know, that's it. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, the lovers showing up. You could, excuse me, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with somebody who is a soulmate. Maybe you looked at them like they were the one. There's like a level of perfection here, or they look at you like this. They could like your body. They could want to have sex with you. They could already have had sex with you, they're connected to you, they want this, they want the relationship. Somebody feels like you're the perfect person here with the lover showing up. They feel like it was like divine timing for them to meet you. Like it's, 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 it is a significant relationship. Somebody understands the significance of the relationship too. What's going on for Aquarius? Yeah, the magician, you got maybe Gemini showing up again here. Um, it's like somebody's really trying to make something work or they're really trying to use every pull out all stops Use everything within them to get you to say yes or to persuade you or to sell themselves The page of cups they could be younger than you They just feel like they need to romance you or they need to do something nice for you or They want to give you gifts or they want to take you on trips or they want to give you money or this person feels like your beauty or you're very beautiful or you're fashionable, beautiful. You got it all together. Again, something about perfection. Let's see, what else is going on? Yeah, the 10 of pentacles. So this person could see forever with you. They feel like you're a forever type person. This could be your husband, the king of cups showing up. You know, a future husband, now husband, I don't know. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male, Libra. This is somebody here. Yeah, Gemini showing up a lot here. Um, Virgo. This is this is someone who wants to establish something for the long term with you. They want to give you everything that you desire. They want to be with you. Again, they feel like you're just so vibrant, so sexy, so appealing, so charismatic, so outgoing, an entrepreneur, a go-getter, seductive, sultry, mysterious. This is somebody who, I don't know if this is a new person. We do have the page of cups showing up. But this is somebody who really, they're trying to hold back their emotions. They don't want to let you in on how they feel too much. But at the same time, they do want to let you know that, you know, they do like you. They do love you. Um, there is love or, or an extreme um, level of likeness here. The king of cups and the queen of wands. So, like, you guys may not be on the same vibration just yet I don't know if you're in love with this person 
just yet or it could be the other way around they're not in love with you just yet but you're you're extremely in love with them what is the advice for Aquarius the ace of wands so it's like the page be up for the challenge of maybe starting something new Stepping out of your comfort zone, the page of swords, ask questions, be curious. Uh, yeah, ask the necessary questions in terms of getting to know somebody, the three of swords. Volunteer information so that nobody gets hurt. Don't let things be miscommunicated also with the Page of Swords and the Three of Swords. Don't, don't rest in misinterpretation and then you play the victim, either you or somebody else. They want you to be clear in, in what you're doing and how you're doing it or what you want from this person or what they have to offer you. The hermit card, yeah. I don't know if you, the Knight of Cups, pages, page of wands. This is now it's reading like somebody wants to come back. You don't see this. This person is not on your radar because it's bad blood between the two of you. This person is kind of like looking at you, stalking you, all over the place. They want to come towards you. They want to start something up. They they like they just want to reignite. I'm so tired of reading this. Yeah, they definitely want. They know a decision needs to be made, and the decision is in your court. Damn, you got nothing but two cards. It's like. They, now they feel like you're the perfect person. Like, you know, now it's like you got somebody new up here and then there's somebody old showing up in the midst of this new person. Because you shut down and you resisted them, you resisted what they had to offer, which was maybe like a half-assed relationship, something shitty. It was, there was no growth. They made you do all the work. It was toxic. It was stagnant. They could have even had you as a third party. They didn't take you serious. And now that you, you tuned them out and you listen to your intuition and you kind of shut down your emotions toward them, now it's making you extremely desirable towards, them. like they just can't, they just cannot live without you. They have to have you now. This person wanted to keep this relationship as like sex only. And maybe this is why you walked away. And now they're feeling left out in the cold or they feel rejected or now they feel resentment, remorse, regret. Again, they, they want a decision to be made quickly about salvaging the connection, coming back together. Because now they're seeing your value, Aquarius. Male, female, they see your value, okay? And they know that this relationship is shaky, it's testy, it's rocky. So it's like they're thinking of a master plan of how they can come back to you. This is definitely karmic. They dealing with a lot in their life in their lives. Like it could be work related. It could just be something could be heavy on them, taxing, burdensome, karma. This they could be getting their karma for how they treated you and now they want to come back. They want to connect backwards. So they want to go backwards to you. To back when it was innocent, it was good, it was simple, it was true. They can be them true, their true selves. They can be emotionally vulnerable with you. Now they're seeing in the midst of or without all of the distractions that maybe you're the one. That they, they feel like maybe they made some irrevocable change. Like they can't go back on this now. You won't take them back. Or for some of you, this person feels like they need to make that irrevocable change so that they can come back to you. 
they want maybe the separation to end. Yeah. They're looking back at this relationship and wondering if they should fight for it. It's funny that they're looking back at it. That means that what they have before them or what they are in right now is not going well. They're looking at how abundant you are. How you're creating, you know, your dreams right in front of them. They're under some type of curse. Maybe they even want you to be in that with them. Again, they could be playing the wanting to play the victim, overly dramatic. Something didn't work out for them. Something completely fell apart. It was collapsed. Calamity is what I'm hearing in their life. Maybe because of, I don't know, this person was like indulging with a lot of different things. People, drugs, sex. I don't know. With you, it, everything was on the upswing. It was on the upscale. Maybe it was upscale with you. It's like this person wants to come back again. They want you to choose them. They could even want to propose something to you. It could be marriage. It could be maybe they want to make some type of truce or propose something with you. They see that you walked away. You're done with it. You chose yourself. You rested on your principles and your morals. They respect that, especially if you're feminine energy. You don't have to be a woman to be the feminine energy. Um, so this person feels like a, they want to have reunion with you, celebration. They want to come back together. You're their better half. They took you for granted. They made you the scapegoat. They lied. They did everything. Whatever they did is eating away at them, definitely at night. Their emotions are all over the place. They can't think straight. They used to be very practical, very methodical, strategic, maybe even mathematical, and they're all over the damn place. Um, yeah, their sleep habits are upside down. They think about you constantly. This is somebody could could be like doing moon magic or something to try to bring you back. This is somebody is in pain. They could even be in physical pain. Hmm. This this. I don't know about the these people. The, the, the now looks like a group of people. I don't know. Um, yeah, sorry. All right. So they really want to. They don't like the ending of this relationship, and they want to come back. They want to start it back up. They want to instigate it. But this is somebody that doesn't have a plan after the instigation. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Hold on. Wait. Let's see. They can want to take the lead and show you that they changed with the three of wands and the this. Okay, so this energy is making me very um, tired. So it's like this could be like an energy vampire. Like they, it's also making me kind of like confused. Like you just don't know what is real with this person they're, they're very manipulative they're very good at showing you one face but then there's another oh, okay they're very good at juggling they this card talks about in mid in medieval times there was like the court jester he was like the fool he was like the 
the comedian. He would go around making people laugh. Even in the times of war, famine, you know, the time, the desperate time, you trying to keep people's spirit up, trying to get people to not, you know, look at what's going on around them. But look at this, look at me being funny. And it's like, this is what your person is doing. It's like, don't look over here. Look at this. Look at me. I have changed. It's like they're trying to persuade you that they've changed, but I don't think it's real. They want you to look at something else. They could be a comedian. I don't know. They could be really funny. Um, they could want you to come back. They could, this person could want to have sex with you. They want to like implant something in you or impregnate you. But after that comes, then like. This isn't good. Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords. You could feel like that this person wants to come back. There's like a deceptive type of energy here. It's ulterior motive. Again. Okay, okay, I get it now. It's like this is why this is why I was like, this is this person is driving me nuts. It's like, oh, I want to come back and act like I want to act like I've changed, act like I'm this, act like I'm, I'm that, like, like the jester. But it, it's not true, you know? It's not fun times. It's not happy times. There's something going on with this person. And they want to maybe bring you into it. Or they have like some ulterior motive to give you something, then leave you, disappoint you. They might be met with the Queen of Swords, so. No. It's a definite no. It, as soon as you smell a lie, you might just say no. I'm done. Like, you already started off with the lies. We're good. She does give the opportunity for somebody to state their peace. But after that, you start the lying. She's, you know, she's the executive. She has a final say, so um, she's a good judge of character. She's been through a, a ton of shit, so, so this is funny. This person is trying to come back and implant, impregnate something, or give you something, and then leave you. They're determined to to come back to you. There's a lot of distance between the two of you, the king and queen of swords. Like this guy, I can be talking to somebody and he was not with this person or not talking to this person, but they're determined to come back towards you. This person could even want to ask, they want to ask you why maybe you did this. You know, you came back and act like there was change between the two of you. And maybe you guys started something prematurely, then somebody just ghosted. That is Aquarius energy, the Seven of Swords. And then they are heartbroken and disappointed. They could even want to ask you that, Aquarius. Like, why, why did you do that? Why didn't you stick around? This person wants answers. They're determined to get it. Let's see what the angel answers have to say. What the angel answers have to say for Aquarius. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, it's, it's definitely speaking loudly to you. Cause there's something better than this. You know. You've got, Again, we had that new person here, and then it jumped into this old energy. Yep, it's a hell no. But there will be a peaceful resolution. So you're going to get something resolved. Possibly move on. You got a yes, a definite yes answer. So we're going to clarify the no answer. We're going to clarify the yes answer. What is the no answer? 
no change yeah. maybe from a masculine energy N no change no destiny no this is not a soulmate maybe not a a good one at that there's this if you're inquiring about a particular person it's just a no especially one that you have history with what is this yes answer for Aquarius what's the yes answer for Aquarius what's... all right very nice the full card let something new develop for you talks about new development going in a new direction meeting someone new figuring maybe this person could be the one but not really knowing where it will go because it is the full card follow your heart and your dreams a definite yes answer here about maybe somebody something new it could even be business related it could be love but we're talking about love so you like you gotta know for somebody that you have significant history with and then you got a yes for someone that maybe is starting something new with let's see what career and finance has to offer you Aquarius you might just need to let this go this old person go like it they're a lost cause, you know. Then there's somebody else that just won't let you go. Okay. What do we have for Aquarius for career and finance? Okay. So plan it out. It's time to get more serious, Aquarius. Maybe you talk about it. You're nine. Okay, so plan it out. You know, you have all that you need to make this work, but... It can't stay in your head. Wow. And then 10, uh, prioritize. Pick one thing. So it's like maybe you're trying to do a million different things. You got to perfect one and then move on to the next. You know, you don't want to be a jack of all trades, master of none of them. You want to plan it out, put it on paper, make sure it makes sense. Get a mentor, get a business mentor prioritize give yourself and set set apart time to get things done or some time in your day even if you only de dedicate 15 minutes to your dreams or to your career aspirations you have to prioritize you prioritize sleep and eating prioritize this so you know let's see what else do we have for career and finance what do we have for career and finance for Aquarius God, so big. Okay. Wealth. What? You've been getting stuff like this for a long time, Aquarius. You're surrounded by abundance. I don't typically see this card. Wealth. It's here for you. It's here for the taking. If you just plan it out, prioritize wealth. They just gave you the plan right there. And they want you to network. Get out there and network. Connect with others. Tell people about yourself and what you do. Don't be ashamed. Don't be shy. Don't be this. Don't be that. Maybe you don't have all the credentials. If that conversation comes up or that piece of the conversation comes up, um, learn how to, uh, what is it called? It's like, um, I don't know, like adverse uh conversation or adverse um response like you you have a response to it and it's one that's well thought out and it's one that still will give your person or your clients or your whomever it will still give them confidence in you being able to service them do the job or whatever it may be so you're gonna have to kind of google that what um, you know, answers to adversity or like adverse questions. Like maybe you don't, you know, I don't know. So something like that. All right, Aquarius is late. Okay, but just know you got wells coming. Boo. <laughs> Prioritize, plan it out. Um, you got a yes answer for um, maybe starting something new relationship-wise with someone new. Oh, nope, that wasn't it. You got the full card on that. Um, and then with somebody from the past, there's no change there. They just want you back. 
that's it you know this is what I have for you I hope that it resonates if it does let me know how it resonates down in the comments section okay let's put some excuse me let's put some um some money bags whatever currency you know is in your city state town country put your currency down in the comment section so let's manifest some wealth together let's put some pens pen and paper down in the comment section because we're going to plan it out we're going to write this thing out okay so we're going to put some pens and papers some money down in that comment section because we're going to plan this thing out together okay aquarius uh wealth is here uh abundance is surrounded it's surrounding you you're surrounded by abundance okay so keep that in mind network get out there will be peaceful resolution to some love relationship it looks like um i don't know it might be a no answer for somebody that comes back in that's okay you know um they need to hear it so it can close out and so we can get different readings okay somebody needs to hear no maybe they still think it's opportunity for you and them therefore they the energy is still lingering so somebody needs to hear no um but let it come naturally you don't need to call them and say hey it's a no but anyhow aquarius if you feel like this reading resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you aquarius many blessings to you bye